Yeah, you should never walk into a sales conversation and be surprised. I always get to laughing with sales salespeople that walk in and they're it's it's like they've never been in the room before. I'm like, okay, and you think you're gonna close this deal? Why? It'd be like, all right, guys, you know, Tom Brady. I'm a Patriots fan. I won't talk about Tom Brady because I'm a little sore about it. But Mac Jones. It's like, okay, we're gonna put Braden Lee on the field with the Patriots and m- remove Mac Jones. Well, I'm gonna do terrible because I don't know the playbook. I haven't studied the defense. I mean, it's going to be terrible. Let's yeah. not talk about the physical attributes. Just from a strict mental perspective, <laughs> it's not going to be a good deal, right? But you put Mac in there, he's repped it out. He's done yeah. the play thousands of times. He knows it by heart. He knows where his receivers are going to be. And as salespeople, if you don't watch the film, if you don't spend time studying the game, you're just setting yourself up for failure. I, I think if if salespeople would just spend more time listening to their calls, evaluating their meetings, 10x, 20x, 100x their income, easy because they just don't evaluate. It's like, oh, dang, I didn't get that sales. Yeah, I just got to move on to the next one. It's like, yes, but why didn't you get it, right? Like, yeah. There's ways to grow.